My soon-to-be 13-year-old nephew is not here today, but he asked me to ask you how he can get a date with this girl he's interested in. <laughs> well, the fact that he's asking the question means he's role-played it and she said no in his mind. So the first thing is stop doing that. Stop role-playing it and imagining her saying no. Imagine, rather than figuring out how it's going to come about, encourage him to fast forward to the moments after the date has ended and reach for the feeling of satisfaction of having had a really, really, really fun time. Encourage him to imagine laughing with her and being just incredibly clever and tuned in and good timing about things. And then encourage him to spend the rest of his time thinking about this as if it happened and it was really fun and now he's eagerly waiting for the next and the next and the next and the next. Imagining how he feels and feeling good about how he feels is the fastest way of getting there. Create the feeling state. It's the emotional journey. Yeah. In other words, when you think it through, well, I'll lurk and I'll have good timing and I'll wait for the right opportunity and I've got all of these possible things that I could say and I'll have them all in my mind so that they're all on the tip of my tongue. That insecure feeling has him upstream and the universe will not cooperate with him at all. So the timing will be off, he'll trip over his shoes, he'll have a booger in his nose. <laughs> Everything will go wrong. Yeah. Where if he just imagines the feeling of success, that feeling of having a wonderful time and that feeling that there are so many more wonderful times and, and that awareness that there are so many people that are waiting to rendezvous with him, that's the feeling that he's wanting to line up with, you see. And then the girl that's really a match to who he is will be the one who will show up. Mm. Mm even if he thinks he doesn't know who that is already. Even though he thinks he doesn't know, the universe knows. Yeah. If he fixates on the feeling, the universe will bring him the right one. If he fixates on the person, he'll trip over his feet. We will share that with him. Mm. I'll ask tell him, him to that, let you tell know him it how came it works. from you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll ask him to let you know how it goes. What do you think as you talk to this patient or client called nephew? What do you think he wanted to hear? You see, what he wants to hear is that it's a done deal and that he should just go for it and ask her and that she'll just flip over the opportunity. And so he's not really going to like this answer as much as the one he was hoping to get. Yeah. And that's why we want you to tell him that it was your idea. <laughs> So you need some more So tricks. you're afraid of losing a future customer, is that what you're saying? No, because we know how it all ends up. But we're trying to bridge these two modalities that you brought to us when you first sat yes. down. You need some tricks. Yes. In other words, you're wanting to offer to him some scenarios because he can't hear us as we know it to be. And then he might relax into it. He, if, you need some tricks. If he feels like he's got a trick that's worth trying, or several, and backups and alternatives like he does with his Legos. Well, you see, what, he, what we really want him to know is that he cannot possibly find the girl of his dreams until he has some bad experiences with some girls. In other words, he's not going to begin to know what he wants until he knows what he doesn't want. And we would not deprive him of all of that delicious contrast, would you? <laughs> But he's not ready to hear that. Yeah. He wants us to take him right to the end of success, you see. And we want you to understand, we thought he wanted a ride on the river. Well, he's managed already not to deprive himself of some of those negative experiences. <laughs> I think that's why he has so much urgency about this one. He, does, he thinks he's, he's running out of chances. At 13. At 13. Maybe I'll tell him now, how old he really is. Isn't it fun as you sit and listen to this, the dilemmas of a 13-year-old, and you know what you know, aren't you enjoying the feeling of watching him go through all of it? Because you feel 
so wise about it. So can you imagine how we feel about all of you? <laughs> all of you 13 year olds who are making <laughs> such big hairy deals out of things that just don't matter at all. When you're already worthy and you have this magnificent vibrational escrow and so much magic in your life and so many resources and so much vibrational backup and so much resource of source, so much well being abounding, it's time to be more playful about it. We thank you and love you for reminding us. There is great love here for you. Too. <sighs>